What's better on a cold winter's day than a nice warm and cozy crock pot meal all ready for you by supper time? Hey, hey y'all, I'm Sammy and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some brand new crock pot recipes that you don't wanna miss. So sit back and relax and let me do all the cooking. Come on y'all, let's go. This crock pot pulled pork will soon become your new favorite because it is versatile for so many different suppers. So let's go ahead and get to making it. We have our crock pot sprayed. We're gonna go ahead and lay down half of a large onion on the bottom. Now I'm gonna set my roast in here fat side up so I can get that seasoned. We're gonna put in a little bit of Badia Complete, some buttery poultry blend. It's good on everything though, don't let the name fool you. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in some bourbon peach by Kinders too, this stuff is so good. Now that we've got that, I'm gonna just pat that down a little bit. We're gonna flip this roast over and do the same thing to this side. So now that we have both sides seasoned, I'm gonna take that other half or so of that onion. I'm gonna lay it right over the top of this pork roast. So this is gonna cook on low anywhere from eight to 10 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and set mine for 10. That way I know it'll be completely shreddable by the time I get home. So just got home. This is flipped over to keep warm. And I told y'all it was gonna have a lot of broth to it and it sure does. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out and shred it and I'll bring you back in just a second. All right, so we've got our pork all shredded up nicely as y'all can see. I just threw together some coleslaw real quick. I had some cabbage left over from New Year's so I just went ahead and used that up. And then we're just gonna use the Kinder's mild barbecue sauce. And we're just gonna have chips for the side. Quick, simple, and easy supper. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, go ahead and give me some thumbs ups and leave me some comments below. And if you want, click that red button. It's absolutely free and become part of my YouTube family. Also, if you love this channel, you'll probably love my other channel as well. I'll be sharing grocery hauls and um, daily devotionals, day in the life vlogs, everything like that, which I used to do here, but now I've got two different worlds. So if you like this channel, go on over there and check out my new one. These crock pot barbecued ribs are gonna be your absolute favorite way to make them. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start out, I'm just gonna take both racks of ribs. I'm gonna take this membrane off the back of them. Some of them call them like silver skin or anything, but that's how you get the fall off the bone ribs. They are so good. Now that we have the ribs all cleaned up, I just put a sheet of aluminum foil down on my cutting board. We're gonna season both sides. So you just need a little bit of mustard on both sides. And then we're gonna come in with this Kinder's um, bourbon peach seasoning once we get this brushed onto the ribs. You don't need a whole bunch of mustard and you don't taste it either. So it all cooks down. It just holds that on the seasonings and stuff. That's what I just, it's called a binder. <laughs> Even my son who despises mustard loves these ribs. So we'll flip and do the other side. Now I have decided to add some of the Suckle Busters SPG on here. It's just salt, pepper, garlic. Saves me a step. I went ahead and sprayed my crock pot. Now I'm gonna take um, some 100% apple juice. If you have apple cider, that'll work too. But I'm gonna dump probably about four ounces of apple juice into the bottom of this crock pot. Now we're just gonna start by standing these ribs up. I do the thickest part of the rib down and kind of stand it up until I get the other ones in there. Now that they're in there, our next step is to put some barbecue sauce in between each set of ribs. 
We're not gonna coat them in barbecue because we're gonna do that when we take them out of the crock pot and then into the broiler for a little bit. Now these are gonna get cooked on low for six to seven hours. All right, y'all, these have cooked pretty much all day. So I've had them on low for about six hours. They are already starting to come off the bone. That's how you know that they're done. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these out and put them on a lined baking sheet. I just lined it with um, tin foil and then we'll put the barbecue sauce all over the top. Right, so we've got the ribs on out. We've got them laid on the baking sheet. We are just gonna come in with our barbecue sauce and go right over the top, give them a little brush, put them into the broiler and let those get nice and browned up a little bit. That way that barbecue sauce kind of sinks into the meat. All right, y'all, here are those ribs. I just pulled them out from underneath the broiler. We're gonna let them sit here a second and then we're gonna get our plates ready. This crock pot potato and sausage casserole is perfect for these cold wintry days. Let's go ahead and get this put together. Starting out, we're just gonna go ahead and cut up these better cheddar smoked sausages. If you just have regular smoked sausage, that'll be just fine. But since this is a cheesy version, I'm using up what I had in my freezer, so these are perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these up just into like bite-sized pieces and We'll set these aside and then we'll start throwing everything into the crock pot. Next, we sprayed our crock pot and we're gonna dump in all those potatoes. I had a mixture in my freezer. I had some shredded hash browns and then I had some diced up hash browns. But I did not have 32 ounces, which is what the recipe calls for. So I grated up my own whole potato. So I have right about 32 ounces in there. Right We're going to take some salt and pepper to those taters right now because they need flavor. Potatoes, uh, you know, they, they need a lot of salt. <laughs> if you cannot have salt, just use a salt substitute. It'll be just fine. We're going to take our cut up smoked sausage, kielbasa, whatever you have on hand. That goes in next. Next, we're gonna take about a cup of shredded cheese and go right over the top. You also wanna save the last remaining cup of cheese to put over the top of this when it's done mixed and mixed together. Next, we're gonna go ahead and mix together the soups and sour cream. I just took the bowl that I had my taters in. No harm, no foul. I don't wanna dirty up another dish. <laughs> so we're gonna take about a half a cup of chopped up onions, one can each of cheddar cheese soup and cream of chicken soup. Next, we're gonna add in eight ounces of sour cream. And of course, y'all know I can't go without adding in some Vidia Complete. I'd say that's probably about a teaspoon. We're gonna go ahead and just give this a mix together and it's gonna go right over the top of those taters and sausage. Now we're just adding that mixture right on into the top of the potatoes and sausage. And we're gonna stir to combine. Now that you've got it all mixed together, we're gonna come in with one cup of cheese, the last remaining cup of cheese that is, right on top of this. Then we will put our lid on it and it's gonna cook on high for two to four hours or low for four to six. I chose to go with the high setting of two to four. And honestly, this one was done within three and a half hours. So just make sure you keep an eye on it. All right, y'all, that is it for this week's video. I truly hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some new ideas of some different things to put in that crock pot on a cold winter's day. If you are in need of prayer, please let me know below and I would be honored to pray for you all. If you like this video, also check out these other two to get some more yummy food inspiration. Until next time, y'all, God bless. Bye.